Hey friends, welcome back to The Hideaway Homestead. I'm Mike, and on this week's episode, we're gonna be putting some walls up on our reclaimed lumber chicken coop. If you like the content we're producing, consider clicking like down below. And if you like um, this kind of subject matter, you know, uh, us building stuff, the, uh, the farm here uh, with the animals and our gardening and things that we're just doing in general with the family, you may want to consider hitting subscribe and clicking on the bell for notifications. We do come out with new episodes every Thursday and we definitely appreciate it. It helps support uh, me and the family. So a little bit of what I got planned for today. I'm going to, I think, put a support, another support beam here in the back uh, for a number of reasons. One, it'll add some extra stability to the roof in case we get a lot of snow, which is prone to happen around here. Uh, but also it's gonna give me a little bit less of a gap that I'm gonna have to clear with uh, some of our slats from our pallet wood. The slats aren't exactly very long it, it, there's definitely uh, a gap here and this would help us if we had an extra beam sitting here, uh, you know, for a variety of reasons. Also, something I'm going to try to start looking towards uh, doing today is con uh, putting in some considerations for this front area. This is where our door is going to be at. So I am going to have to frame out a door um, and put it together and make sure we have enough space here, but also make sure I have some uh, space here on the sides for hinges, uh, a de you know, a lock, things of that nature. And on a future episode, we're gonna be placing a nesting box on the back side over here, as well as a door here on the uh, left side so that we can allow access to the run for the chickens. Um, so these are all things that I have to consider as I'm kind of putting this together today, but really I just wanted to get those walls up and uh, I think that's going to really make it look like this thing starting to take shape. So um, let's get to it. All right, I'm just checking to see if, uh, if this guy's long enough to fit here. And it's not gonna provide great support because this notch is here. I don't have another one of these uh, on hand at the moment. Um, but again, I'm kinda, I, I kinda just wanna get this back uh, gap closed. And I think this one, I think this would be fine to help uh, facilitate that. We're just going to throw a couple screws in to cinch this thing down. All right, so something that I'm gonna wanna do, um, I need to go ahead and put another cross beam in here. This way I can run my slats vertically on this side and make sure it reaches. But also I need to be mindful that I'm gonna have a door sitting right here to let the chickens run in and out. So I do have some of these pieces and these are, these are pretty heavy duty heat treated. Um, we're not using anything chemical treated. Um, we've got these heat treated pieces and they're just the right size. I feel like this should be sitting right about here and that's about level. So what we're going to do is I'm going to come in and make a 
relative mark and then I'll go ahead and cut this to size and we'll do the same thing on the other side and you can see here I'm just past where some of those nails are so that's good um, I said this in the last episode you definitely need to be careful about where your saw blade is going because you don't want to hit any nails in the pallet wood Go ahead and and we're just gonna kind of eyeball to see if we're level. It's not, it needs to come up a little bit. If you have a level, you can put that on there just to make sure. But you know, it does not have to be completely perfect. All right, and that looks good. And actually it's it's so snug, I'm not even gonna use these clamps. I wanna take some of my short boards here and I'm gonna just kinda of line them up to right here at the bottom and I think I'm gonna actually go all the way down. And I'm going to use my nail gun to nail that in. Once I nail that one in, I'm gonna overlap the next one over top of it. And I'm gonna do this all the way up to the top. And just so you know, what I'm using here is one and one fourth nails. And these are brad nails. So the heads are a little bit thicker than the body of the nail. So that's what makes it different from like a finishing nail, which is really just like a pin almost that goes in. So I do have an air, uh, a, uh, an air powered uh, nail gun. So I'm gonna be using that, uh, as I mentioned. You don't have to do that though. You can go uh, just get a hammer and nails and, and really do this by hand. Again, it takes a little bit longer, but it's completely possible uh, without, without having to buy any expensive equipment. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and knock this out. I'll do this side. I'm going to do the other, the next side, and then we'll get ready to do the, um, the actual sides here. I can see the sweet sun pouring down in the strawberry sky. Dancing down by the St. John's Riverside And I can see Maggie running through the fields full of wild A free spirit living a beloved life Out in daydreaming about the South Appreciating those days Growing up in Madeline A blessed world in the South I remember running barefoot, well aware of sand spurs Sitting on the park bench, working on guitar chords I'm still enchanted by the legendary fantasy electric brunettes How they would render me helpless by the way that they
All right, everybody, so I've got the sides up now. I've got the uh, edges cut off, and the edges got cut a little janky, right? So they're, you know, they're not perfect. I, I used the uh, reciprocating saw on them. Um, I'm not too worried about it. I'm gonna be placing trim on the edges anyway, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna kinda corner off the uh, building. You don't have to use trim. It, it just makes things look nicer, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do that uh, a little bit later. So I wasn't really too worried about being perfect. Um, what I'm gonna do now though, off camera, I went ahead and cut some notches out to kind of uh, flush up the top and the bottom part here. So um, I went ahead and used clamps to kind of hold it in place. I'm gonna go ahead and nail those in. And then once that's done, I'm gonna start working on the sides. Okay, so what I did here was I went ahead and measured one of the slats that I need. And I've kind of made a uh, stop block here so that I can actually go through and do some repeat cuts. And I can make a whole bunch of these um, to make it faster for me to go cut those things up. So again, it just shows that if you have a circular saw or a skill saw, you can actually uh, still do these cuts uh, you know, repeat cuts without having to have that um, fence that's, you know, kind of there for you on a, uh, like a chop saw or miter saw. So I'm going to go ahead and batch a bunch of these out and then we'll start nailing them up.
All right, folks, I think I'm going to probably call it a day. I did not get the back done, um, mostly because I am running short on uh, pallet wood that uh, we've been processing off those pallets. So um, it's that, plus it's getting kind of late. Um, and uh, yeah, so um, let me give you a tour real quick. So we did the sides today. So this is the side that you all should have seen, I think probably during a time lapse, but um, I went ahead and just did the pallets, uh, the pallet slats straight up and down with a supporting cross beam, which I think is fine. Um, the plan is to cut this bottom section out and put the uh, ramp here for the run. Um, I'll probably do some sort of like sliding door or something there too uh, to keep it protected. But let me go over this way. Whoa. Okay. So this is the side you haven't seen yet. So I did the uh, I did this other side exactly the same way as I did the the other. So um, didn't feel like uh, you know you got wasting your all's time uh, watching that. Um, but yeah, and again, I'm gonna I'm gonna probably do some insulation behind this. Uh, you know, I'm not sure. And I did add, uh, you know, this beam here in the middle so that I can, uh, I can attach slats here along the back. Uh, so we're gonna, we're gonna get that done. And actually let's, let me give you a good view of the inside here. All right. So you can see here, I have space, uh, between these, um, beams and the actual slats. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy some foam board and fill that in. Um, and what I can do is I can just use some uh, construction adhesive to um, bind it to the walls. And I'll probably do the same thing here on the front. So I will, uh, I'll put insulation in there and, and uh, do that. Now, these top areas here, and it's you can't see it but maybe i can sneak a peek up here yeah i left this uh area open on purpose i'm gonna put wire cloth in there and um i'll just leave it open all the time this way there's some ventilation in here for the chickens so Vanessa's been up here all day working on the pallets. And you can see here we got kind of a makeshift operation going on. Um, it's a lot of hard work and it doesn't help that it's been in the 90s today. And we have a metal roof. I feel like you've been kind of in an oven. <laughs> um, so how's it coming? Slow. Slow, <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I think what we're gonna do is call it wrap today. I'm gonna probably this week help Vanessa out and you know we'll cut down some more pallets we can this way we can get the back done and then uh then it's really just starting to work on the doors the uh kind of the final touches and then we might be able might be in a good place that we could uh move the chickens in you know who knows but at least for at night or something yeah at night time yep and then we get, get we, then we get to start working on a run so <laughs> more work more work yep but as usual, if you like our content, please click like. And if you want to catch up on episodes when they're getting released, just uh, hit subscribe and hit the bell. You'll get a notification. We have new episodes out every Thursday. And that's it. We're yeah. signing off. Make time for dirt time.